Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah Lipkowitz and I'm a real estate agent based in Montgomery County, Maryland. I specialize in homes and farms in Maryland and Virginia. And today I am in my new home, sitting at my kitchen table and looking out over my pastures. I work on residential transactions quite regularly, but a lot of my buyers are looking for farms. And like me, they're looking for a farm so that they can move their horses home. And now I've just bought my first home and my first farm all in one. And it's definitely scary, it's exciting, and there's a pretty steep learning curve for sure, especially when it's your first farm. You know, I, I grew up on farms my whole life, but I didn't necessarily own one or live on one. So definitely a big, big change, but I'm so happy I did it. And it's so lovely to be able to step out of my house in the mornings, go feed them, go ride, get things done so that I can get to work. And it's definitely nice to be able to check on them in the middle of the day and just, you know, look out my kitchen window or my bedroom window and be able to see them in the field and check on them and interact with them. They're definitely settling beautifully. They seem very relaxed here. Uh, I have access to trails. I have neighbors who are quite lovely and we're pretty happy, but there's definitely pros and cons. And I definitely want to make some more videos about you know, some of my before and afters with some of the projects I wanna do. I actually just finished the first phase of my fencing project. They hadn't had horses here in a while and the horses they did have must not have tested the fencing all that much. So some of the fencing had to be replaced before I could move my horses home. And the rest I'm looking into doing next year, potentially with some cost share help from the state. So there's definitely programs like that you wanna look into if you're looking at putting in auto waterers or new fencing, new perimeter fencing, things like that. And you know, you have to obviously budget for equipment. When there's an emergency, that's on you. When you know the farrier comes, the vet comes, you're dealing with the scheduling, you're dealing with emergencies, you're plowing the farm driveway in most instances. But in my mind so far, it's been worth it definitely more work than, you know, boarding your horses would be. And in terms of the finances, when I looked at it, I have three horses and the cost of boarding all three or even just full training for one, plus what I would pay in a monthly payment on say a townhome, it ends up, the cost differential ends up being about the same. And in this instance, I'm building equity on a bigger property and I'm in an area where I know the property values are going to continue to appreciate. And the added benefit is I have my horses at home and nobody is raising board on me the same way nobody is raising rent on me. Now, you know, the cost of living could go up, the cost of feed has been going up, there's things like that, but I have a lot of control. And I think most equestrians enjoy having a significant amount of control over how their horses are cared for. So I have, so far I have no regrets. I, you know, there's definitely days where you're working on a lot of projects and you're like, man, this would be nice if I could go uh, sit on the couch and watch TV or something. But I still have found time to, you know, go to, go to a concert, go to dinner and enjoy myself. And I have the added benefit of not having to drive over an hour every single day to go see my horses. And I feel like they're getting a lot more attention from me. And it's just, everybody feels so much more relaxed. I really wanna explore how this experience can help me better serve my clients. I've been doing this for a living for a number of years now, and I already have a very good idea what goes into it. And I, I can communicate that effectively, but I think living it is a little bit different. Having gone through the experience of buying my first farm and moving my horses home and buying the equipment and getting some of these projects done, I understand a bit better how my clients feel on that side of things. And I'm really looking forward to sharing some before and afters with you. And eventually when I'm not quite so much living out of boxes, I will definitely do a property tour. Thank you for watching. Again, my name is Sarah Lipkowitz. I am a real estate agent based in Montgomery County, Maryland. I specialize in homes and farms in Maryland and Virginia. So it's the middle of the day. I'm just checking on them because it's very hot and buggy. They're in their little run-in where they have an auto water and a fan and one of them is scratching his face on me. This is baby Cam, and that's 
my Grand Prix horse Curry in the background, and that's Tiny Freckles back there, standing half in, half out of the run-in. There's a bit of a step up, which is on my list of things that I should probably work on. <laughs> but so far they've managed it beautifully. This barn was built like that, and the horses that lived here before managed it. And my three have gotten very used to that little step up, step down. Um, and sometimes they stand like that on it for no apparent reason. But I love that I'm able to come home in the middle of the day after running errands or doing appointments for work and I can come check on my horses. What you think, Sam?